Whoa, what they do? What's happening, with it, baby? What's happening with you? You already know we locked in like 20 of them. It's your boy, Puerto Lamar, also known as FCMD. Forever chasing money, be the game. Shout out to my brother Cam. You know, he started this shit. We're going to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Yo, though, uh, man, I had to come, bro. Uh, with not a reaction to some music, bro, but reaction to a passing, bro. Uh, man, this, this is the first of the channel that I'm putting on here, bro. But uh, PNB Rock uh, died uh, earlier today, um, September the 12th, bro. Uh, so the way it goes, bro, is that he was at a um, he was at a Roscoe's, a place called Roscoe's in Los Angeles. You feel what I'm saying? Close to Inglewood, sounds like. I'm not really sure exactly the location, but it's a waffles and chicken joint, you know, in Los Angeles. I do know that much, right? And based on the information that was that was received, um, that his baby mom's posted a picture. Um, like, hey, look, I would pay type shit, you know, eating that Roscoe's chicken and waffles, you feel me? And nigga slid on, nigga slid down 20 minutes later. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so, I really just believe, like, it's a, it's a definitely, uh, it's definitely an, an unfortunate event. I actually saw the video of him on the ground. Uh, it's pretty graphic, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of blood, you know, you see somebody losing their life. On, on camera, you feel what I'm saying? So it's not like no, it's not no shit that's just like, damn, like you struck over. So it's definitely a fucked up situation. But I come to you from this standpoint, right? We always hear, like, definitely nowadays, we hear, like, being a rapper is the most dangerous job in America, right? And you could agree to disagree with that. Um, the standpoint I took on that is that it really comes back to being the type of rapper that you are. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the energy that you are bringing, the energy that you attract, right? So, if I get on social media, or I, I'm known to the world as a guy that, that, hey, look, I'm flashing bags of money. I got money to my ear. You see me dripped out of jewelry all the time. Then guess what? Nigga, if I ain't got shit, I'm in the hood. You know, I'm living with my mom's nigga. I'm 26 from 27. The fuck? I'm about to risk it all for this shit, nigga. Give me that. Right? And am I wrong for that? This nigga flashing this shit in my face. How I'm supposed to feel. Right? But at the same time, like, damn, I can't enjoy what I work hard for. I can't enjoy, you know, the shit that I sacrificed to get to this point. Right? You should be able to enjoy that, but guess what? You rappers make it dangerous, right? Being a rapper ain't dangerous. Rappers make being a rapper dangerous, bro. Think about it. What other position or what other job out there where you got you got billionaires, right? Niggas know they got billions. Niggas know they got billions. Way more than rappers. Why they ain't get killed like that? Why they ain't get shot and robbed like that? You know why? How they move. One, if you making money like that, you need security. Fuck it. Or niggas, that's, niggas with you that's going to slide? Two, if you ain't got security, you got to have your own strap. At all times, bro. At all times. Three, don't post shit. If you ain't gonna slide for that shit, cause you got niggas dying behind the fucking joints, nigga. What the fuck you think a nigga ain't gonna kill you behind some jewelry? And a couple racks of money? Think a nigga ain't gonna kill you? What? Nigga, take your life over joints, bro. Why wouldn't I slide behind some fucking, what you call it? Some jewelry and a bag of money that I think you might have. Come on, man. That's the link, bro. Y'all niggas get so big, y'all niggas get disconnected from shit, bro. You feel me? And the speaker, like this girl said, them up, what that could be hitting out there. Bro, you famous. You step out in public with nothing but jewelry on. You look like you got money because the way that you carry yourself, you got jewelry. 
Shit look like it costs half a million dollars. Give me that. Nigga, you in public. You ain't run out of space. You even regular civilians. So you got niggas around you that, that's eating with you. Oh, shit. I don't even know you. But let me look you up. Oh. Now I'm seeing shit on social media. Look like you got money. Hey. Cuz. Hey, you got this nigga up here named PNB Rock. You know. Hey, I'm going to see. Hey, this nigga like he got bread, bro. Hey, that nigga, hey, this nigga, hey, that nigga got them things on him too. You heard me? Nigga got some drip. Hey, we need that though. For real. Hey, that nigga still there? Bet. I'm gonna be there in 20 minutes, nigga. Whether this bitch close to something or not, bro. That's what niggas don't understand, bro. Niggas kill for them. shoes, bro. Nigga, nigga ain't gonna kill you for no drip for your jewelry. What? But you still posting that shit. You still post the money, but niggas be surprised why niggas slide on them. Niggas why niggas, why why niggas try to rob them? Yeah, I'm not saying, bro. I'm not saying don't enjoy your shit, bro. I'm not saying that, but we gotta find a better way or stop complaining about it being the most dangerous job in America, cause the shit really ain't. The most dangerous, about, the most dangerous job in America is the fucking military. Let's be honest, it's the fucking military. That is the most dangerous job in America. Motherfucker, you sign up literally for somebody to shoot at you. Name a job more dangerous than that. Oh, uh, wait. Maybe the fucking all fields. Not in all fields, but underwater fucking shit. Oh, they got all kind of shit, bro. Way more dangerous than being a fucking rapper, nigga. Look at the odds. Nigga, I rap. Ain't shit happen to me because I'm fucking nobody. I'm not posting fucking... Half a million dollars jewelry with fifty thousand dollars to my ear, bro. So I'm not a fucking target. Ain't nobody out to try to get a lick off me. Cause if you rob me, bitch, you're not getting shit. You're not getting nothing, bro. And I'm I'm real passionate about this shit, bro. Cause Mo Three was a fucking bro. I really fuck with Mo Three, bro. Like for real. So his type of like his type of shit was different. Because his his shit was street shit. Nipsey Hussle shit was street shit. Pop Smoke shit, different shit. PNB Rock shit, different shit. XXX Tiasio, different shit. Those were seen as licks. Two different types of situations. I'm not robbing you because of who you are. I'm robbing you because of what you showed me, nigga. And because of what I think I can get from you, nigga. The other situation, them not robberies, them hits, nigga. That's a difference. Whether nigga try to take your life just to kill you, or nigga try to take your life to get your shit. There's a difference, bro. For real. Y'all just gotta understand that y'all y'all not getting it. Being a rapper ain't dangerous. That shit ain't dangerous. Niggas rap every day, B, and they out here dying, bro. Being a rapper ain't dangerous. But when you flash that money on social media, bro, you out here, you got half, half a million in jewelry. You got 500 racks in your neck. Nigga, I make 100K a year. Nigga, that's five years. Nigga, give me that. Fuck you talking about. And imagine niggas really in the trenches, nigga. Niggas that's, that's really out here living like that. You feel me? Niggas are risk all that shit, bro. Come on, man. You're an easier target. Why rob the bank when you walk around with the same shit that I'm gonna get from the bank, bro? Why rob a bank when the nigga walk around with the same shit that you can get from a bank? Tell me that. Hey, I ain't, I ain't trying to be insensitive. You feel me? Cause somebody lost their life, bro. But I'm just tired of people pushing the narrative that being a rapper is the most dangerous job in America, which it ain't. It ain't. You gotta look at that shit. You gotta look at that shit for what it is. You feel me? If you putting yourself in a situation, you know, for this to happen, then you putting yourself in a situation for that to happen. You feel what I'm saying? Security. That reduces the risk. Having your own, that reduces the risk. Moving the way you're supposed to move, that reduces the risk. And when I say move the way supposed to move, right? If I'm a if if I got if I'm a multi-millionaire, right? 
from multi-meaning. I'm going somewhere, bro. Especially like a little chicken spot that ain't got nobody of my caliber visiting that shit, bro. Hey, shut this bitch down for three hours. Shut this bitch down for two hours while me and my people eat. You be able? I can get you two beds. Come on, man. Man, you gotta move different, bro. If you a rapper and you listening to this, bro, please, please understand this. Being a rapper is not dangerous. Pursue your dreams, my G. Pursue that shit. But understand at the same time, when you flash money, when you talk about how much you spent in jewelry, right? That makes you a target, bro. That makes you a target. Why Elon Musk ain't never been hit up? Bill Gates. Steve Jobs when he was alive. Come on, man. Jeff Bezos. These are billionaires. Billionaires. I'm just saying, bro. Man, rest in peace to PNB Rock, bro. For real. For real, for real. Very sad situation. Very sad situation, bro. Uh, but and, and, you know, condolences to his baby moms. Condolences to his family. You know, stop tagging that girl and shit, man. Because y'all don't know what the fuck did today. You're, it could have been a sentiment, it could have not. But uh, uh, unless you know exactly what the fuck going on, stop putting shit on people. You're, just stop. This man was a public figure. He was known to walk around with millions of dollars, a half a million dollars worth of jewelry. He was known to carry cash. You can, you can go see on the social media. The world can see it. She didn't make him a target, he made himself a target, bro. And when we being honest with ourselves, it's the shit that we do. And as men, I guarantee if he was alive, like, man, I gotta move different, you feel me? I got to move different, for real. Because I already put this out there. I can't go back. People know what I got now. I can't go back. But now that I know this, I got to move different. That's just what it is, bro. And it's sad that he didn't get the opportunity to learn from that mistake and that his life was taken so soon. But let this be a lesson to y'all that's out there that do have the opportunity to learn from this, bro. For real. It's crazy, man. This shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even listen to dude's music, but it fucked up my whole day, bro. She just made me think about Mo Three, you know, and just people dying and shit, bro. I hate, I hate that, bro. My mama, I hate that. You hear me? I know it's, I know it's coming, nigga. I don't fuck with funerals, none of that. It's too much shit. Too many people I know dying, bro. I know real people dying, bro. You hear me? And then to be able to see a nigga dying on camera, like, that shit crazy. Nigga got no problem. Nigga ain't even die in peace, bro. Nigga trying to record everything. I'm on my fucking deathbed, bitch. Help me. Fuck, you said over with a camera looking at me, bitch. Help me, nigga. This shit goofy as fuck. You trying to upload this shit for likes and, you know, and uh, fucking screen captures and all this other goofy ass shit. Bitch, this is my life, nigga. I got family. I got kids. I got people that love me. Like, really love me, nigga. And you got a camera over my face while I'm dying. Man, this shit crazy. All right, man, this shit, this shit to fuck me up, bro. Hey, man, I ain't got nothing else to say. You already know we locked in like 20 now. It's your boy, Poeg Lamar. And until I come back, 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 I ain't got nothing else to say. So that's that, nigga. Uh. I just want to touch the sky. Believe in another life. Another life. I just want to touch the sky. Believe in another light, another light. I just want to touch the sky. Believe in another light, another light.